everybody at camera and you can see my face, right? Yeah. Awesome. And a big smile. My name is Kanjun, and I run Imbue. We build AI systems that can reason so that they can help us accomplish much bigger goals in the world. I've always believed that technology can liberate people. If I were born in 1900 as a woman, I'd be spending all my time preparing food and stoking fires to cook it and mending clothing. Because we have the refrigerator and the loom and the dishwasher and all these technologies, I'm free. Well, actually, the modern day is not that different from the 1900s. Back then, we didn't have machines to do physical labor. And today, we don't really have good machines for doing mental labor. We have computers, but they need to be micromanaged. It's hard to even imagine our computers accomplishing larger goals, like planning a family vacation or making a PowerPoint deck, without us basically doing all the work ourselves. But we're starting to see glimmers of that possibility with these large models that are behind chatbots and generative AI. Today's models are actually really exciting because they surprise me with how good they are sometimes, but I really do not trust them to do anything bigger. They just generate an output, like text or an image or a button click, and then they put the onus back on me to actually do stuff with it. When we are writing an essay, we're not just generating an essay and then turning it in. That's not how our best essays get written. We look at our essay, we critique it, we say, hmm, this section needs more research. I'm gonna go do some research and come back and then rewrite it. That iterative process of looking at something, reasoning through what the issues might be, figuring out where I need to ask questions, what the goal is, maybe changing my approach, those are all required to actually accomplish goals in the world. At Imbue, we're training large foundation models optimized for reasoning. On top of those models, we build agents that we use to accelerate our own research. And these do more than just output something, they also iterate and reflect and figure out what's the next step to do and then take that next step. We're starting with agents that code because it requires complex reasoning to be able to code well and because that's the work we do every day. And it's only through the serious use of these systems that we can really deeply understand how to improve the underlying reasoning models. What we're trying to do is actually get to reasoning models that we can ultimately build agents we can trust on top of, all sorts of agents. It's hard to see because we're so in it today but AI models are like the very first electronic computer, which was just a calculator. What we're going to see is this explosion of enablement over the next 50 to 100 years. If we do things well, we have a world where we don't have to be glued to our screens anymore, where computers can help us thin the barrier between idea and execution, so that as a person, I can go off and start exploring my curiosity, discovering the laws of the universe, creating magical experiences for other people, understanding each other, and loving our work, creating those masterpieces inside of us that we're dreaming of. These things that feel very beautiful and very human, that's what I hope technology will enable for us to become much more human. Uh, I forgot what, I forgot to, what to say next. <laughs>